Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the second stimulus check and how it impacts you. So let's get started. Congress has been on vacation since the end of July so they can put their efforts on campaigning and get the rest they need while the rest of the population and the American people are dealing with unemployment and possibilities of eviction. The debate between Republicans and Democrats and how much money is needed to stimulate the economy has been at a standstill now for about a month and it doesn't look like anything will happen until after Labor Day, sometime around mid-September till late October. The reason why I say this is because the fiscal year for the federal government closes on September 30, so it might be highly unlikely that they will pass anything major before then. If anything, the second stimulus package would be passed after September 30. Both Republicans and Democrats have refused to budge on their numbers, which has left the American people struggling to provide food on their table and to keep a roof over their head. President Trump had to write an executive order to help boost the unemployment benefits to $300 that would otherwise have gone down to zero. However, some states have chosen to opt out from the program and other states have opted in into the program because of the complexity of the order and because of how tight budgets are for certain states. As Congress has made no attempt to come to an agreement, there is mounting evidence that the economy needs another boost or stimulus to help it continue its forward trajectory. For example, the airline industry continues to struggle as the coronavirus keeps people from flying like they used to. More and more people are taking a staycation or renting an RV for more local vacations. On Tuesday, American Airlines announced that it will lay off 19,000 workers, including flight attendants, pilots, and technicians, starting October 1. The announcement follows other airlines that have signaled similar moves. United Airlines said it would need to furlough 36,000 employees this fall, while Delta Airlines has said it could furlough nearly 2,000 pilots come October. Nearly two-thirds of economists surveyed by the National Association for Business Economics for its semi-annual report on the economy said that the U.S. hasn't escaped the recession. Along with those figures, 80% of the responding economists said there's still a 25% chance that the U.S. sees a double dip towards a second recession after the fourth quarter. Along with those figures, 80% of the responding economists said there's still a 25% chance that the U.S. sees a double dip towards a second recession after the economy recovers. We are going to see a K-shaped recovery where certain sectors of the economy recover and go up while other sectors of the economy go down, which is the two legs of the K. So we are going to see another recession, a double dip recession, come around the fourth quarter according to these economists. As for the response, 75% of those surveyed gave the Federal Reserve positive reviews for its efforts in boosting the credit markets through its monetary policy by keeping interest rates low and boosting the economy through these stimulus packages. 40% said that Congress's stimulus efforts were insufficient while 37% said it was sufficient and 11% said it was excessive. What do you guys think about this? This survey was conducted around July and towards the beginning of August. The conference board, a business think tank, estimates the US economy will recover slightly in the third quarter but then fall again by 1% to 2% of GDP in the fourth quarter. One of the best indicators to determine how people are feeling about the economy is to look at whether or not they're confident in spending their cash. The Consumer Confidence Index, which is a survey measured by the conference board to determine how consumers feel about the economy, found it's at the lowest level in six years and it was worse than what economists had expected. The August figure marked the second straight month of decline. The consumer spending had ticked up in May and June, which was most likely due to the impact of the stimulus checks and higher unemployment benefit checks. However, since the stimulus package talks have stalled, we are probably going to see less consumer confidence and therefore less spending. And in return, it's going to cause the economy to go back down into a recession and cause more mass layoffs and more bankruptcies. The unemployment rate in July was at 10.2%, lower than the 14% in April. 
However, historically speaking, we are still at very high levels. Economists are expecting another 1 million unemployment filers this week. Another problem that's luring down on us is the nearly 30 million renters in the United States, most of whom are having problems paying their rents and the landlords are having problems paying their mortgages and tax payments. So as you can see, it's a domino effect affecting both renters and landlords. It's not just renters alone because if renters don't pay their rents, then landlords cannot pay their mortgages. September 1 is the day when a statewide California eviction moratorium is set to expire and a tsunami of evictions. Many with families could find themselves evicted and on the streets. Unless Governor Gavin Newsom passes an extension to this bill, there would be mass evictions. We could be seeing a second dip recession with a K-shaped recovery where certain parts of the economy do well and go higher while other sectors of the economy don't do well and goes lower with mass bankruptcies. We're also seeing a lot of civil unrest around the country and a election that's coming up very, very soon. All of these put together is causing like a perfect storm and a fork down the road to see what's going to happen in the very distant future. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you guys agree or disagree with what's happening and what do you guys see that will happen in the future. If you found this information helpful, please give it a like. This would help YouTube's algorithm to share it with others like yourself. And also, please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.